You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. Under the directives of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, the Royal Endurance Team participates in the Jordan International Championship with a wide participation of competitors for a distance of 120 kilometers for the main race and 100 kilometers. The championship will witness the participation of 19 jockeys from the Royal Team in the two races. The Royal Team will have a great opportunity to ascend the podium in light of the great support that the team enjoys from His Highness Sheikh Nasser, as the team will participate with young riders in the framework of His Highness's interest in preparing and supporting the jockeys for upcoming participations, foremost of which is the World Cup that will be held in the Netherlands next September. His Highness stressed that the Jordan Championship is a good opportunity for the Royal Team to demonstrate its capabilities at international participations and to assert its high skill level, which has recorded continuous successes throughout the past period. Sheikh Nasser also indicated that he is keen to provide full support to the team in order to achieve the desired goals and progress. His Highness added that the outstanding efforts made by the technical staff of coaches and in the past period in qualifying and refining the jockeys will contribute to achieving positive results. His Highness Sheikh Nasser underscored his confidence in the capabilities of the young jockeys to achieve positive results and wish them success in the championship. The horses of the Royal Endurance Team passed the veterinary examination that took place yesterday in the championship village. The Labour and Social Development Ministry has completed all preparations for the implementation of the Ministerial Edict 39 of 2013 on banning outdoor afternoon work which begins in July and runs until the end of August. The annual ban prohibiting outdoor work from midday to 4 p.m. during July and August months aims to safeguard workers' health, ensure their safety against heat exhaustion and sunstroke, as well as prevent summer-related diseases and reduce occupational incidents in view of the increasing temperatures and humidity in line with the Kingdom's commitment to human rights principles, especially regarding the need to provide secure and healthy working environments. In a statement, Labor and Social Development Minister Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamidan affirmed that Bahrain is a leader in ensuring and securing safe work environments for workers out of its keenness on their safety and health at various production sites, noting that the implementation of outdoor afternoon work ban is the best means to achieve that goal. He called on private institutions to step up their efforts to raise workers' awareness about summer diseases, highlight the risks of over overworking under summer heat, provide health care and first air, as well as find ways to reduce exposure to heat and humidity. During a remote meeting held with the Southern Governorate Municipal Council, the Ministry of Forks, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning highlighted the infrastructure projects, municipal services and facilities in the Southern Governorate that the Ministry is implementing this year. During the meeting, the Undersecretary of the Ministry of Forks, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, Sheikh Mohammed bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, revealed that nine projects are being completed in the Southern Governorate and three projects are being studied to be implemented during 2021-2022. For his part, the Undersecretary of Fork Affairs, Ahmed Al Khayyat, indicated that the Ministry has a package of projects under implementation in the sectors of roads, sanitation and public utilities. The Assistant Undersecretary for Housing Policies and Services at the Ministry of Housing, Dr. Khalid Al Haydan, announced that the Ministry has converted the family member's approval of credit report services to an electronic service in cooperation with the Information and E-Government Authority. He noted that the beneficiaries of this service are the owners of housing applications and their basic family members of the first, second, and third categories. Al Haydan also announced that the launch of another new service related to the right to manage housing services through the electronic platform of the Ministry of Housing and explained that these services also come in line with the current conditions for the application of precautionary and preventative measures indicating that the Ministry of Housing has completed its plans to transform main services to digital services. For his part, the Deputy Chief Executive of Electronic Transformation at the Information and E-Government Authority, Dr. Zakaria Ahmed al Khaja, said that the launch of the family member's approval of credit report services comes as a continuation of the package of electronic services launched by the Ministry in cooperation with the Authority, which amounted to more than six services and an integrated electronic system through the national e-government portal. The data and statistics issued by the General Secretariat of the Shura Council during the third ordinary session of the fifth legislative term showed that the Council approved 20 bills. Most of them were referred to the government, while a number of them were returned to the Representative Council after the Parliament approved them for consideration. The statistics showed that the number of bills that were referred to the Council during the third session were 32 and 29 projects were referred during previous sessions. Among them, nine draft laws did not receive the approval of the Shura and Representative Councils, indicating that a number of bills were drafted according to proposals for law submitted by a number of members of the Shura Council. 
The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,039,962 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 885,470 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccine. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 8,917 with 1,199 recoveries, 487 registered new cases and 15 new deaths. 250 of the new registered cases were expatriates, 237 were contacts of active cases and there were no travel-related cases. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.